Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. So today we're going to add another episode to our Wide World of Cooking playlist. Armenia. Armenia is located in Western Asia and bordered by Iran, Turkey, some other country, probably Oklahoma, and Azerbaijan. Georgia. That was close. Armenia is bordered by Iran, Turkey, Georgia, and Azerbaijan. And their cuisine is a mixture of Eastern and Mediterranean. God damn it, Tammy. I practiced this. The first Armenian state was established in about 860 BC. Today, Armenia has a population of about 3 million people. Some famous Armenians include Cher, all of the Kardashians, and Havhanis Adamian, the inventor of color television. Now, Armenian cuisine is a mixture of Eastern and Mediterranean. Um, a lot of use of spices, vegetables, and fish to make some amazing dishes. Today, we're going to make Lulia kebabs, which is very similar to its cousin, the Adana kebab, which comes from Turkey. But this one uses cinnamon. Let's get all of our stuff together. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take two pounds of our aged ground beef, and this is the double ground, and we did that in an earlier video, and put it in a mixer bowl. To that, we're going to add two pounds of ground lamb. To that, we're going to add one whole finely diced red onion and a handful of finely diced flat leaf parsley. Then we add two very young boneless skinless chicken. And next, we add a ton of spices. All of the amounts are down in the descriptions in case I get any of this wrong as I'm going along. But here is four teaspoons of cumin and two teaspoons of dried oregano, Mediterranean, of course. I don't know. Teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of salt, four teaspoons of smoked paprika and a tablespoon of chili powder, a very healthy teaspoon of garlic powder, because you know how we feel about garlic, a teaspoon of cinnamon, then we need about four tablespoons of tomato paste. So this one we're going to eyeball. All right, now we're going to rough mix it. Okay, the next step is we're going to put it on the mixer and we're going to run it for about 10 minutes. What we're going to end up with is a highly spiced, very fragrant, very, very sticky meat mixture. Now that stickiness is going to help us when we put these on our big ass skewers. And that'll be tomorrow. So once we get this mixed up, it's going to go into the refrigerator overnight so all those flavors can do their things once that door goes shut and the light goes off. All right. Editor, be merciful when you're showing this part because I'm getting my entire ass kicked. There we go. Why didn't you do that the first time? Okay, always start slowly first. Even more important, make sure you secure the bowl first. Ah, that click is very satisfying. Then start slowly. Doesn't like, look like we're flinging meat everywhere, so now speed that puppy up. And we're going to let this go for about 10 minutes. Really, I'm not going to make you watch 10 minutes of this. I'm going to get this mixed, and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. We'll see you tomorrow when it's time to cook. So it's been a busy day here at the Galley of the Sun. It's kebab day. So we have made... Homemade lavash, which you can catch on one of our shorts videos. We have made homemade tomb, which is a Lebanese condiment 
I know we're cooking Armenian, but this stuff is out of this world. Think mayonnaise, but made with garlic instead of eggs. You can catch how to make that tomb also on one of our short videos. Um, also, we've pickled some red onions too to go with our kebabs. Once again, on one of our shorts videos. So at this point, I have my mater skewered. I've got my peppers skewered. Now it's time to get the meat on the skewers. So this is certainly an art. If you watch videos of people that have made kebabs all their life, it looks like the simplest thing ever. Let me tell you, those looks are deceiving. So if you get to this point and you're constricted by time, start this early. There are strange women crawling on the floor behind me. There is never a dull moment at the galley of the sun. So I'm going to get a big handful of meat here and I'm going to try and make all of this meat. So it's about four pounds um, minus the onion, parsley and all the spices we put in there. So maybe four and a half pounds of meat altogether. I'm going to try and get these on six skewers because that's what I have left. So make a ball of the meat in your hand and then push it onto the skewer and then get it all sealed all the way around and then just sort of elongate it onto your skewer. Like I said in the videos, this looks so damn simple. Okay, so if you want some cool design, and we will be so bold then take your thumb and squeeze it, move it up a little bit, squeeze it again, up a little bit, squeeze it again. It sort of uh, thins out the meat so it'll cook faster and gives you this neat ripple texture across your kebab. So I don't know about you, but I definitely like my kebab rippled. Okay, got a little bit of room left, so we'll try and get some more on there. Mixing this in the mixer as we did yesterday for about 10 minutes makes this incredibly sticky. That's why I'm using gloves. Um, hopefully that will be the key that keeps this on the skewer as it's sitting over the open flame. Okay, we got three skewers left, about half the meat left. Looking good so far. Those are ready. I'm going to keep those in the refrigerator until I'm ready to put them on the grill. I've got my grill started, set at about 425 degrees. It's going to cook over direct heat, but I still see dark smoke coming out of that. So I'm going to give a little bit for that smoke to get clean looking, and then we'll go out to the grill and get this started. Here we go. we got our open flame. We'll get our meat right over that. Then we're going to let it go for about a minute, and then we're going to turn it and that meat's going to cook and shrink and clench onto that skewer. At least that is the theory. Get our tomatoes on and our peppers. Moment of truth, first flip. Careful, careful, careful. We are looking good so far. So my researcher said the secret of this is frequent flipping about every minute. Those are done. So I'm going to take these in and I'm going to grab the other four and I'll cook those up. All right, so the cooking's finally done and we were finally successful in keeping the meat on the skewers. I am stoked about that. Now for the flavor. So I got some lavash, a little bit of tomb on it, some pickled onions. Mmm. Mmm. That mixture of the super garlicky tomb with the cinnamon that's in these kebabs is, is outstanding. Well, I hope you like what you saw today. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Is there something you'd like to see us cook? Put it down in the comments. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.